Hi, welcome to GMT Pointing. Uh, I'm a traditional line pointing specialist. Been doing it for 20 years. I just wanted to show you how I replace damaged stones or stones that are missing uh, or fill in the voids just behind the stone. Um, feel free to subscribe. Um, I put up the odd video on now and again, but if you'd like me to do anything specific, just uh, give me a quick message. Right, first of all, make sure your joint's all clear. Get rid of any crap. I'm pretty damp uh, wet this, so it's nice and damp. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry fix this to find out which is the best way it to go in. There's two stones. I try and keep it back to similar to what it was. So This was rock hard sand and cement. You can see where they used the wrong side grinder to grind it out last time when they put the hard sand and cement in. Right, so that'll go back something like that. So what you want to do is don't be scared to use your hands, but make sure you've got gloves on. Use any bits of mortar that you've dropped on your sheets to do this. Fill it back. Push it back. get any little bits of slate just push it in just to keep it bonded any bits of stones it stops it cracking again so what I've seen people doing is wherever it is Because I've filled it up, I've got to push it back now. I've seen people get a lump hammer and hit. That's the worst thing you can do. Get a piece of wood. I just tap it back. And then it flushes it off with each stone here. So you're not messing about. I like to use a little hod. So I fill all the sides in. Push it back. Get your motor in. Same again. Get your piece of wood. And hit your piece of wood. Make sure you fill all the voids at the back. So what I'm going to do is scrape some of it back out so when I come to point, get your hands in, if it's a void like that, and push it back. You can't often feel that with the trowel, because it looks as though it's full, but Push it back, get it filled. It takes a lot of time to do line pointing. If you're the type of the person to rush it, get a professional to do it for you. But don't leave these voids, you know, don't not backfill them because it calls, causes cold spots and obviously water will get in behind it.
Right, so when it's gone up a bit, just scrape it back. So when I can point it, if it's still moving or anything, you can jam a piece of slate down inside to make it compact. But I know that's going to compact, compact well. So anything on the face, just don't worry about it because it'll wipe off. But that's how you do just replacing your odd stones. I don't really like this one, but when I come to point it, I'll um, I'll end up covering that edge and doing it a bit flush. So when it starts going off a bit, just get your stick again and make sure it's not fell forward. If it's fell forward, just tamper it back. But normally you do that in stages, but because I've just wanted to do a short video, I've done it all together. If any questions, just give me a quick message uh, and I'll try and help you out. Thanks very much.